So in the Azure console here, if we go to monitor and then go into alerts, we'll notice we've got the option for, to manage action groups here. And we've already got one action group set up here. And we could go to add action group at the top and create a new one, but I'm going to do that in PowerShell. So if we go over to our PowerShell code, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we're connected to the Azure RM account. And the next thing, if we run the get Azure RM action group command here, We'll see that it lists out the name of that action group that we've already got created. So in order to create a new action group, we're going to use the new Azure RM action group receiver command to set up a new receiver. And we're going to give that a name. I'm going to call this notify Frank. And we're going to set this up as an email receiver. So if we look at the options here, we've got email receiver, we've got SMS receiver, we've got webhook receiver, etc. So we could choose any of those, but I'm going to select email receiver in this case, and I'm going to need to give it an email address. So I'm going to give it Frank's email address here, and I'm going to pipe this all into a variable for use later on. And I'm going to do the same a second time with Frank's SMS. I'm going to make this an SMS receiver this time and give it the country code and I'm going to give it the phone number for the SMS to be sent out. So once we've got those two variables, we can use the set Azure RM action group commandlet to create the new action group. And we need to give it a name. I'm going to call this notify Frank. We need to give it a resource group in order to create it into something and a short name. And then we feed it the two receivers that we've created in the lines above. So if we run these lines, firstly, line six to create the email address and line eight to populate the SMS address and then run line 10, it will create our new action group. So if we run line four here again, we should see that we've now got two action groups created. And if we go back to the Azure console and refresh it, we've now got our new action group called Notify Frank. Thanks for watching.